Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Fionda, thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to talk about my very first, <laughs> yes, very first, Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Satchel Handbag. Okay, um, this satchel handbag um, in the micro size, um, it's a beautiful bag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, my husband got me this bag for my birthday. Um, so thus far I've had it, my birthday was in January and I've had this bag for about, I don't know, three, four weeks now. And I'm just starting to wear it. Um, before I was wearing my, uh, coach, crossbody coach bag. But, um, this is the, uh, micro in the navy blue, um, this bag is so beautiful. I mean, there are no words that can describe how beautiful this bag is. If you own one, great, congratulations. Um, I love this bag so much. This is like, right now, it's like my number one bag. Um, but if you just look at the beautiful details on the bag, I mean, I love the red across the top where the zipper is. Um, it has very beautiful detailing. I love the green that's um, on the back side of the leather. Um, if you flip it up, you can also see the beautiful stitching up in there. Um, and then how the burgundy aligns the leather. Um, it's like a little peak uh, of extra color. Um, and then with the back of the bag, beautiful beautiful the hardware i love the matte gold color um on this bag it's not that flashy shiny gold um in my opinion it's kind of ghetto but that's just me um it's just not my taste let me put it that way <laughs> um but yeah this purse is beautiful 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 i love the feet that are on the bag um, so I don't have to worry about when I sit it down somewhere. It's like my bottom of my purse is getting all yucky and nasty. You know, sometimes you have to sit your purse down to do extra things or what have you. Um, I love the beautiful stitching that they have there and the beautiful stitching right there. It's beautiful. None of my other bags can compare to this bag. I mean, this is a show stopping bag, a show stopper. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And again, this is my first Dooney and Burke. Um, any of my other bags that, excuse me, I've had have been a uh, coach. And then I have probably like two or maybe three items um, that are Michael Kors, but majority of it is coach. Um, this bag here, I would see it in Macy's. And I remember the day that I saw it in Macy's, it was this beautiful chestnut brown, beautiful chestnut brown bag. And um, I remember going to pick it up and holding it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this bag is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, but it was just way too big for me. I believe it was probably like the size of uh medium medium or large but it was just way too big for me um for my preference for me um but when my husband first bought me this bag I'm, i forgot to say he bought it in the nano and the nano i fell in love with the bag it was a perfect for a crossbody bag but after i you know was holding it and you know seeing it more and more i was like ah oh, this is just too small for me so I went onto the Duty and Burke website and I saw that they had one a size up, which was the micro. And so it was only $20 more. And so I said, well, let's go for that one. So we sent the nano back and we ended up with the micro. Got the micro here. And I tell you, this was perfect for me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, again, I, I mean... <laughs> Again, I cannot describe how beautiful this bag is. 
Um, and most of you who already have a Dunienberg or are familiar with Dunienberg, you already know the inside um, with the green suede on the inside and then how the inside is red on the inside. Um, beautiful. I love the way the flap folds down. Um, one thing I did notice about the Nano, the flap wouldn't stay down. Like this is down and I don't have to do anything. But with the Nano, because it was so small and compact, um, it would stay up. And so I would have to pull the, scrap, the straps up to keep it pressed down or what have you. And that's what really attracted me about the bag is the overlay um, of it. Um, and another thing about the Nano, if you don't know, um, the Nano was like, I'm gonna say, like, that's the size of the Nano. The Nano was really small. And I was like, oh, no, this is not gonna work for me, especially with this bag costing, costing about a, uh, $400. Uh, $400 may not be a lot for you, but it is a lot to me um, to spend on a micro, I mean, uh, a little teeny tiny Nano size bag. And so when this came in the mail, I'm like, yes, beautiful. Um, I'm not going to go on the inside to show you um, what I carry on the inside. I guess I do that in another video, but I just love this bag. It is such a great statement piece. I'll stand up to show you. Um, you can carry it either way. Carry it either way. Um, also, I failed to mention it has a strap. A strap, two straps to carry for over the shoulder or crossbody. And um, I'll show you really quick Ooh. how I'm going to wear this. Okay. This is just regular. Sorry, can't see it that much, but yeah, like that. Love it. Or we can take it and go crossbody. Crossbody. And this way. This is like my favorite way that I would carry it. It's this way. It gives me flexibility. I can go on and do what I need to do. Um, and it's not in my way. Um, it's easy to get to if I'm in line and I need to pull out my wallet. Um, it's easy to, you know, go ahead and do that. Um, zip my purse back up and I'm on my way. Um, so yeah, beautiful bag. So again, just want to say how I really love this bag. Excuse my hair. Um, really love this bag. I'm gonna take these off right now. But, so. Okay, so if anyone's wanting to know like, is this a, a great purchase? Um, are there kind of in between? Not sure if this is what they want to do. I would definitely highly recommend the Dooney and Burt in Floratine Leather Satchel Handbag. Um, you would not be disappointed. I mean, I just, I just know the compliments are going to come and... <laughs> It's speechless. It's just speechless. I love this bag. Well, I thank you all for um, tuning in. Um, this is my first time making a video here on YouTube um, or doing a, and doing a review. Um, I will have more to come, so stay tuned. I thank you so much. Bye.